guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to my channel, That Awkward Plant Girl. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you guys for popping in. You're the ones that put up with me through all of the hot mess that is this channel and I really, really appreciate it. I don't think anybody is gonna like just stumble across this video. Um, so we're just gonna keep it really chill and casual. I'm sitting on the floor. This is not my usual backdrop, as you know. Um, I've got a bunch of alocasia, so what I'm planning on doing with these alocasia is putting sphagnum moss on top of them um, just so that they don't dry out and it's to facilitate growth, added a little um, extra humidity at the root base. And since this is kind of like a monotonous planty chore thing, I just figured I would answer some questions. So um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan for tonight. Um, it is like midnight, so it's the lighting is not going to be that great but we're going to roll with it anyway i had to wait for the kids to go to bed and it's summertime so it is what it is um but anyway i have some questions that you guys asked me if you saw the community post because we have the community tab now which is so exciting and then i do have a couple of announcements so let me get the announcements out of the way and then we'll answer questions um the first announcement you might have already noticed is we have a new logo I designed a new logo and I'm so excited for it. Let me know what you think. If it's totally terrible, then I definitely need to tweak it and might as well know now, right? <laughs> like, don't tell me three years from now after I've done it all, you know? Um, also, I am, I have two more little announcements to make. So I have started like a merch line because I've had a couple of you, especially the folks who have followed me from TikTok onto YouTube have asked me for merch. So I figured out the technicalities of all of that. Um, so I will have like a little site for that up. Um, I will try to link it down below. So there is that. The best part, I'm most excited about this part actually, is I started a Discord channel for us. Totally free. You just have to be a Discord member. Totally free to do that. Um, a lot of us are on Discord already um, and part of other planted groups on Discord. So this is just another one for you. Or maybe this will be your first Discord one and you are just looking to make more planty friends. Totally come. I'm very, very excited for this. Uh, some of my best friends I have made um, on planty Discords. So I am super, super excited to be able to get to know you guys better, to connect with you guys better, to facilitate trades more easily for you guys to meet each other cuz i know like if we're all if you guys are all watching this channel then you probably have similar interests to me and like you're probably a little nerdy you're probably a mom or you were a mom at some point you probably really love plants and you're just a really chill relaxed person who just wants to hang out with people and chat about plants and life so if that all sounds great to you then definitely join the discord and it's not going to be like, I'm never going to charge for it and, or anything. I'm never going to like add it to a Patreon and then have you like have to pay to be on it or anything like that. Like this is just, I want to get to know you guys more and chat easier. Um, it's kind of hard to keep up with comments on four different social media platforms. So if I can just go to one place and chat with you guys there or answer your questions right away there. Um, then I think it'll be easier and better and I'm so freaking excited for it. So I'm so excited to get to know you guys better. And then also on the Discord, I'm going to be doing once a month like group video chats. So we'll all get together and we can all chat about plants. Um, I might have my kids playing in the background because I am a mom but I will try to make it to a time that works for everybody and that hopefully my kids are busy elsewhere or at school or whatever. Um, but I know a lot of you guys are parents as well and it's not something that's going to bother you guys. So um, that is kind of the plan. That's kind of where we're at, guys. And I am just, I'm so freaking excited because I never thought when I started this channel that I would be doing any of this. I never, like... I taught myself how to edit, I taught myself how to film, I taught myself how to talk to people, I taught myself social media. Like, I never thought that I would get anywhere with this. I never thought that it would become a thing. I didn't realize that I would beat so many people, especially as an introvert. Like, I'm, I'm a super nerdy, trekky introvert into plants. Like, that's not exactly the poster board for friendships, you know? So, like, I'm just super excited and definitely, excited to talk plants and just yeah anyway i'm ranting but i'm super excited about it and i hope you guys are too um i will leave the link for the discord below and i will try to figure out the merch thing for you guys since you guys asked no obligation like if that's not your thing you don't have to this is just there for the people that ask like i'm not like yeah you know what i'm saying so thank you so much for 
all of this. Like, I cannot believe we have over 500 people. I just, I am blown away. Like, my, my dream life is just hanging out in my plant room and chatting with plants, you know? So, like, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Anyway, now that I've ranted for forever, um, let us move on to the questions. So, um, I have a little paper here that I wrote down the questions because I film with my phone. Um, so if you see me looking down and whatnot, that is what I'm doing. I'm just reading the questions. Um, and I wrote down who asked because I want to make sure that I'm addressing you and giving you credit and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so, um, let me do... I guess I should probably do these. And this this table has plastic on it. It has, um, oh, it has a clear shelf liner on it. So these are just watered earlier today and it's okay for it to drip on it and whatnot. Um, this is an Alocasia nebulus imperialis. Um, and a cool thing about these is they have the spots. Um, I did a whole Alocasia video um, before about these are new plants that I just got, so I'm very excited for them. But this leaf was in the shipping and it didn't make it, um, but it is trying to push out what looks like two new leaves at the same time over here, which is kind of blowing me away. Um, yeah, because I, I really, this is an expensive plant, so I thought it wasn't gonna make it. Um, but you know, it's actually super easy and super happy so far. So, and the backs are really red and then it's got this, this dark dragon scale thing going on in the front and it is a really thick chunky leaf I feel so I'm very excited for that um, all right anyway so Emily asked if I have like a birthday wish list plant um, that I'm planning on getting honestly not really I just got all of these alocasia so I don't really have any particular plant that I'm really planning on getting for this right now. Um, I think uh, my kids are shuffling around downstairs. Um, but I do have like specific plants that I am intending to get in, you know, soon. Um, so like I really want to get some more alocasia. Um, and then what else do I want? Oh, um... A black band Maranta is another one that I'm keeping my eye out for. Um, my Monstera Stanleyana Albo uh, did not make it. The cutting did not make it. It totally rotted, which makes me a little sad. Um, but I intend to get a fully rooted one of those. And then hopefully that Monstera will survive this time. I'm hoping it was like um, a just me not being really good with rooting monstera type of thing, um, and not just an indication of the overall plant care hating me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so that's kind of what's going on there. Oh, I didn't even show you this one. I'm sorry, I just pulled it out. Um, I don't know how to say this one. Chantrierii? Chantrierii? Um, I looked it up before. This leaf is actually going um, and was the leaf it got in shipping. And then this is the new leaf that it un uh, started to push out while it was being shipped. And then it unfurled when it came out of shipping and it's actually hardened off really nicely. I like the little ruffles of this one. And then it's got a pink stem that eventually gets to a light pale green, which is really cool. So that's what I have going on there. This is the one leaf that died. It was going in shipping and then it pushed out two new leaves since I got it. So, um, and then let me remove this little sheath here. So, uh, there we go. I always try to remove like the dried bits just because if you don't remove the dried bits, the little pests like mealybugs and spider mites seem to find their way in there and then you just want to chill. And it's like, no, I don't think so, buddy. You need to find a different home. Not today. Um, this is the Alocasia Dragon Scale. I have the Alocasia Dragon Scale Silver form in a quorum that I'm trying to get to root and go really nicely. But I am just freaking loving this one. It's so huge. And then I don't know if you can see like the venation on the back. It's very prominent. So it's just so cool. But this is a very, very quick grower. I mean, it's pushed out two leaves and it's pushing out a third one right now. Like, it's just an amazing plant. So if you get a chance, definitely like 
I used to think the alocasia were so hard. They're very intimidating. My friend sent me a quorum for the alocasia stingray and then I was like, this isn't so bad. And then I started looking up more alocasia and I waited until I found a good deal. Um, but yeah, now that we have these ones, I'm like, holy cow, these are way easy. These are so easy. I think I have like 12 alocasia now, I think. Um, but this is by far one of the easiest ones so far, like no problems, not even shipping. Ah, that sphagnum stuck to me. That scared me. I thought it was a spider. Um, yeah. And if you stumble onto this video, like normally I'm not this chatty. This is just because like we're friends. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, let me move on to the next one. Okay. Um, Emily also asks, do any of your friends or family members buy you plants? Um, no, none of my friends or family members really buy me plants. I had a few friends who gave me like, um, uh, like spider plant cuttings and stuff like that when I first started really collecting plants as an adult. Um, and other than that, um, I've traded a couple of times with, uh, local friends, but most of my plant friends are online and don't live near me. So we end up doing like shipping trades and stuff. And I've done quite a few of those and I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, but as far as like being gifted plants, that's not, not really. Um, I don't know. I'm not really one to take gifts either. I tend to like want to trade something for it. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I was just brought up weird. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it would be really cool if like my husband would just go out and pick up a plant and bring it home or something. That would be, that would be surprising. It would be totally shocking. He's got me flowers a couple of times, but, um, I don't know. I think plants intimidate a lot of people and it's like, they don't know what to get and what you have. They don't really know the difference because they don't understand like the value in the leaf shapes and stuff. So it's kind of something that's hard for people to shop for, I feel, um, if you're not really into plants. So I don't know just another reason why plant friends are the best friends you know so anyway um so katrina wanted to know more about self-watering plants and this wasn't really like a question directed specifically to me it was just like asked on the bottom underneath my one of my youtube videos um so if you are still watching or you happen to watch this video or if you don't know what self-watering pots are then maybe this would be informative for you basically self-watering pots are little pots that don't have drainage holes in them. You can actually put through a cotton wick of some kind. Um, they have synthetic wicks as well, but cotton works better or a bamboo one. Um, if you get bamboo yarn, you can go and make your own. I think you can get bamboo yarn from like Joanne Fabrics or like Michaels. Um, I don't know of any non like big box store um, non-proprietary type of places to get it. But anyway, if you use bamboo or cotton, they're hypoallergenic and they won't mold. And you put them in the water at the bottom of the pot after you have looped them up through the nursery pot that's going to sit above. If that makes sense, I'll try to film like a video to put over this. Um, and then what that will do is actually wick up the water from the bottom and put it up where the plant can actually get it and soak it up and keep it more moist. So if you have a plant that constantly dries out that doesn't really like um, to dry out very much, then a self-watering pot is actually really great. We'll also use these wicking systems if they are in with um, stratum or LECA or pond. These wicking systems are used in those as well. I kind of use it. I don't use the wick portion of it. Basically what I like to do is, here, here's a prime example of it. Basically what I like to do with it is to um, put my calathea in it. It's got water in the bottom here. Uh, hopefully you can see it. So it's got water in the bottom there and then um, you just take your pot and you put it over. Um, but I like to have the water evaporate up into the roots and cause a whole lot of root growth and lots of foliage growth from that. Um, just the humidity, it mimics underwater systems that we have in nature. But if you were going to use like an actual self-watering pot, then you would put the wick up in this part um, when you're planting the plant in there and then it would wick this water up and carry it into there and you wouldn't really have to water the plant that often. The water wouldn't evaporate so much as actually be drank by the plant. So um, 
I don't know, I just don't use them like that. I will buy self-watering planters, but I like to have the water underneath and then evaporate up for the most part, or I'll have a saucer underneath the fern and have the water evaporate around the fern, creating a, a better humidity bubble, I guess. But if you're one of those people that you don't like to water your plants that often, then a self-watering planter is really awesome too. So, um, boop. All right, so getting back to the plants, this is the Dragon's Breath Alocasia. I hope that you can see this, like, <laughs> I don't do a head test very often, guys. I tend to cut small plants. I expected this to be a very, very tiny plant when I ordered it, and it's definitely not. Um, it's also got a corm popping up on the side there, which is, if you don't know, alocasias make little bulbs essentially, and then you plant them um, in soil or you put them in sphagnum moss, or I like to grow mine in perlite personally, and then it will grow a whole new plant from that. So basically this kind of came in a two for one kind of dealio. So I'm pretty stoked about that actually. Um, but yes, this is a brand new alocasia that just hit the market in the last year, I wanna say. Um, and it grows so prolifically so easily it's fairly inexpensive like i would definitely say that this is a beginner alocasia um yeah definitely give it a shot hopefully this sphagnum on top will help that corm grow too so and then i could have a whole other plant growing in this pot and then it would be even easier to just separate them and then have a whole other plant um yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so there is that one all done. Um, all right, and then next question. Um, actually, a few of you asked me about this. Um, a couple of, uh, all right. Um, so here we go. This is the Alocasia Black Velvet. Uh, this is a good big leaf there. So there you go. And then this one just has a standard green stem. And then I don't know if you can see the back. You can probably see the back better there. It's actually a really cool looking back, like almost as cool as the front. And it does feel very velvety, like almost like a micans. If you have a philodendron micans or a Camposportoanum, uh, very similar feeling to that. So, or, um, uh, not really. I was going to say a Peperomia Incana, but not really. It's more smooth than a Peperomia Incana. Um, more velvety feeling. Um, but the veination in it is definitely very vibrant and very white. I hope the camera is picking that up properly. Um, and then this came with a corm as well. Let me see. I will try to get close-ups for you of the corms and like overlay it and whatnot. Um, still learning guys, always new stuff to learn. So, but yeah, as far as birthday plants go, I don't really have any. Um, every year I do this thing where um, I watch all the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> so um, my dad uh, was military when I was a kid and he went away to Europe and brought back um, the Harry Potter books for me. And I just let him sit there for months. Like the cover didn't interest me. Uh, so I let him sit there for months. And every time we'd come back from a trip, he'd be like, hey, have you read those books yet? And I'd be like, no, no. So eventually I got around to reading them, loved them, totally became obsessed with them. Um, we made it a big deal when I was a kid to like go to the movies. It was the only time we went to the movies when I was a kid, really. Um, so like, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of my childhood and whatnot. So I try to make it a big deal every year. Um, my father passed away in 2010. So this is just kind of my way of remembering him around my birthday time. Um, I know like not everybody's a very big fan of Harry Potter anymore because of JK Rowling and stuff. I'm not a fan of JK Rowling, um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not appreciate Harry Potter and all the other people that worked on these huge projects and put so much time, effort, and a huge chunk of their lives, you know? Um, just because one person just didn't say nice things and is is not as good as we all thought they were, you know? Um, so that's kind of where, like it, it I don't know. I, I like Harry Potter, I like the memories it has for me, so that's kind of what I focus on. Um, it's just more of a personal thing. So, but 
this is a friend's video. <laughs> like, if you're just some random person that stumbles on this, don't be hating on me. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm just planning on spending this week just hanging out with family and my kids and just watching ha all the Harry Potter movies. I just watched the, the Dumbledore Secrets movie tonight because um, it's Sunday. My birthday technically doesn't start until um, uh, for a couple more days. But um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. I try to make like Harry Potter themed foods. I make new ones every year. So I try to do that once or twice this week, you know. Um, and then I always make homemade butterbeer, which is delicious. Oh my gosh. So nobody else in my family likes it. So I only make it for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. Okay. So this is, um, I totally forgot to show you. So this is an Alocasia Aslanii, which it does not seem that cool right now, but I promise you it looks amazing. This leaf is about to go, but that's because it's making a whole new leaf here. So um, I'm hoping that this new leaf is going to be freaking cool. Um, both of these leaves that are on here survived shipping, so I'm pretty stoked for this new leaf to come out and see if it's bigger and happier. Um, and then hopefully this moss on top is going to help as well. Uh, we're actually almost done. Um, but yeah, so no super special birthday plans really, honestly. Oh, if you have Harry Potter like recipes or you have any recipes in particular that you want to drop down, like I'm totally open to trying new things this week. So I'm really excited about that. So definitely let me know down below. Or if you have your own birthday rituals, like drop it down below. Let me know what you do for your birthday. I feel like it's kind of something that everybody has their own unique special spin on. So I'd love to hear yours. The last one is from Finchie from Talk Planty to Me. She's actually got a whole YouTube channel. Um as well so pretty excited to see her videos so and she totally asked me if money was no issue what plants would you want to buy so like if i became a bazillionaire what kind of plants would i be getting um so like basically it was it was a really hard question i had to really stop and think because um most of my plants are fairly common plants i don't really get a whole lot of rare plants um where we're running a tight ship around here so we don't really spend a whole lot of money um like on really expensive plants and plus like they can die and there's all of that but anyway so if like money was absolutely no issue and I could just get any plant that I wanted at a whim I think it would be like a philodendron patricia I think I would really want that the waves and the crinkles on the foliage is just so cool plus it is to quote um Katie Ellen is a long boy um so it's got the really long foliage I'll try to put a picture here for you but it's really cool I would also like a variegated philodendron billetier um they're going for quite a bit of money right now so but they look really cool. And I know that the Billy Etier grows really quickly, really easily, um, and can be very, very variegated in a variety of circumstances. Like it's, it's pretty good, stable variegation, but it still gives you surprises here and there. It's not the same every single leaf, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. That would be awesome. Uh, another one would have to be, um, the Burly Marks Flame. If you haven't seen that one, like I'll try to put a picture of that one for you. Um, and that one is pretty amazing. Oh, the Philodendron El Chaco Red. Um, I definitely want a Philodendron El Chaco Red. Honestly, I, that is on my list um, to figure out like how to save up for that or how to trade for it. Um, it's definitely come down in price, but it's still one of those wishlist plants. Like when I first started getting into rare Philodendron and looking at them, like that was the top of the list. I was like, okay, got to get one of those. Definitely. I think it was, oh, crumb cakes. I, well, I want to say it was Nikki on plants, pots, and whatnot. She showed one on one of her videos and I was like, oh my God, drool, drool, drool. Like so gorgeous. Freaking loved it. So definitely it's on my list. So I know it's, it's getting more and more common. So I don't know if that really counts for that question, but yeah, I'm going to put it on there anyway. If it's not under X price, then I, I usually won't even look at it twice for the most part. Like 
I try to keep it under a hundred dollars as a limit for a plant because like how much money are you willing to accidentally throw in your compost pile, you know? So uh, no more than a hundred is pretty much my limit for a plant. Like, I don't know. I think everybody has their own different, like, um, I don't know, like price line. Like I know some people that they won't spend more than $20, which is totally fine. But then I know other people, like I have friends that are like, yeah, $500, no biggie. Um, but then they won't spend for like a thousand. Um, but then I hear about people, like, I don't actually know very many people that would spend a thousand dollars on a plant, you know? Um, I feel like that's kind of, um, I'm too tiny for that. I am too, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a mom. Moms don't have that thousand dollars to drop on a plant generally, unless we're going into debt. But, um, most of us are just going into debt for diapers. So, <laughs> like... Um, anyway, this is the Alocasia Quilted Dreams, and this is the very, very last plant, um, that I have to put this on tonight. I do have the Alocasia Freidic, but it's actually getting watered right now, so I will do that later off camera. Um, but yeah, this is the Alocasia Quilted Dreams, and I'm so excited for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me show you. This is a new leaf. It's got a pretty new leaf on it. It's just so gorgeous. Like, it's really glossy too. Um, I haven't even cleaned the leaves since shipping. Like, I've been really bad about that. Um, but I've just been running around doing a lot of stuff, honestly. I've got a couple projects in the works. So, um, yeah. You'll be hearing about some stuff in the next couple of months for sure, I think. So, but yeah. Anyway, that was it. Got all of our happy little plants so um yes thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me um make sure if you want to chat planty stuff um and make some new planty friends definitely hit up the discord i uh, would love to see you there i'm so excited to see you and talk to you um and like i said i want to do like once a month chats we might do it sooner or less um depending on how your schedules work but definitely want to get the ball rolling on that and get to know you guys better Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next one and hopefully at the Discord. Bye!